Hey yo guys, what's up? This is your boy GTE from the channel Games Tech and Everything and uh, right now we'll uh, talk about some news coming from PlayStation once again, uh, the PS Plus free games for the month of June. So Call of Duty is uh, already available. That's gonna be Call of Duty World War 2. Uh, that's already available for uh, most of the country to download. So even if you have a US account, even if you have a Singapore or Hong Kong account or a UK account, you can uh, see it uh, in the PlayStation Plus list along with the Farming Simulator and the City Skylines. Now, if you are subscribed to PlayStation Plus, then go ahead, you can download it right now. But the real question is, what is the second game? So in my previous video, I uh, talk about the Spider-Man being the second game of PlayStation Plus for the month of June because of the glitch that happened in the UK country accounts. So what happens is, if you search for Spider-Man and uh, you try to add to cart the Spider-Man, there's an option if you want to get the standard version and the, the game of the year edition. So the standard version says that it is free with the PlayStation Plus logo. So a lot of people, including me, gave an impression that Spider-Man may be the second game that will be free in uh, June 2020. However, I mentioned as well in my first video that Spider-Man was just released in PlayStation Now last month. So if they're gonna be releasing Spider-Man in PlayStation Plus, it won't make sense and some of the uh, potential subscribers may unsubscribe to PlayStation now if uh, this is gonna be the case. So if it's not gonna be Spider-Man, what, what really is the second game? Well, Sony published something on Instagram, a uh, quick video in uh, Days of Play and it shows that the games that are available would be Call of Duty World War 2 and Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I don't want to make any kind of assumptions on uh, what's going to be the second game is but my bet really goes to Battlefront 2 because as I have mentioned Spider-Man is already available on PlayStation now so what happened in UK accounts may be some kind of glitch or it is possible that uh, we're gonna get Spider-Man in PlayStation Plus but it may be not this month. So for Battlefront 2 it's actually a decent game. It may be not on par with Spider-Man, but it has a decent score in Metacritic. It has 78 score and 7 out of 10 score in Digital Trends. So for me, it's uh, still a decent looking game given uh, for free. And uh, what I'm thinking is most of the PlayStation 4 users already played Spider-Man. So this is a great alternative as a second game given for free. So if you are interested in getting these games but not yet subscribed in PlayStation Plus or you just want to renew your subscription in PlayStation Plus, CD Keys and G2A is currently giving them at a lower price. So you can go ahead and check those links uh, below for you to get the PlayStation Plus at a discounted price. So that's everything that I want to talk about. I hope I was able to give you decent information and i hope you consider subscribing click like if you love this video click the thumbs down if you don't keep it real happy gaming and peace